just finished shopping at New Seasons and I'm excited to show you guys what I got. I'm starving right now, so my husband's grabbing some food real quick. I got some stuff that I've obviously tried before, but I've got some other things that are new. We have been running around like chickens with our heads cut off because we are going to Mexico in a couple of days and we don't have a lot of time to get everything situated. So yeah, all right, I will see you guys back at home. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Essentials with Alexis, where I do the work so you don't have to. Today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the vegan snacks I got from New Seasons. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, my current addiction has been edamame. It's protein packed and it barely takes any time to get together. And you can spice it up with like seasoning or like different sauces and stuff. You know your girl had to double up on that. This is actually new. I've never tried this before, but I saw it and I could not pass on it. It's plant-based, gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, and it's less than 100 calories. It's made out of coconut milk, coconut sugar, cacao, and get this, get this. Lion's Mane Extract. That's amazing. Lion's Mane is so good for cognitive health. I actually take it every day in a supplement form, so I thought that was a really cool idea. Have I tried this? No, but it looks good, and it's like little, so it's like a cute little treat for when I feel like having something sweet without overdoing it. I might actually try that right now while we're sitting here, so I'm starving. Cute, little, geez. Well, let's try it out. not bad it's good is it the coconut bliss dark chocolate fudge sickles no but it's pretty good for what it is it's slightly grainier than I would like it to be but overall flavors cool okay next human crackers that's not what they're actually called it I messed it up it's called get back to human grain free crackers I get the pizza flavor one. These are amazing. They're not like oily or too extra with the seasoning. They just like, they have a really um, low ingredient list and it's all good stuff. I really love to take these with me when I'm traveling, which I will be doing in the next few days. So this is coming with me. Okay, these chips, let's talk about these chips for a second. I got a bag of these like three days ago and I already know that I have a problem with snacking in general and chips specifically for being real, but these chips are crazy. They're like so flavorful, so yummy, and I, I went through them in like two days. And that's why I don't buy chips because the sodium's not good for me, but this is low in sodium relatively to a lot of other chip brands. Um, it also doesn't have any grains, it's gluten-free, organic, vegan, non-GMO, all of those great things, and I can read all of the ingredients on this as well. If you ever have a chance to try these K-Pasa tortilla chips, the nacho style, do it. If you have self-control, do it. I do not. The only reason I got another bag is because my husband didn't try any, and he was salty about it. So hopefully I can keep my hands off of this bag. We'll see. Next is going to be these fruit roll-ups. As you can see, I was starving in the car, so I did try this, but that was my first time trying it. And it's pretty good. It's a great alternative for you know traditional fruit roll-ups. There is no added sugar in it, which is awesome. And again, the ingredient list is literally pears, apple, mango. And the texture was cool of them. Some of the fruit leathers aren't, aren't it, but this was a cool texture, and I like that it came in like an actual roll-up situation, so. I will probably be purchasing these again. I will say that it was a little bit on the spendier side. I think it was like $7 for this box. And the roll-ups are about this big, but there's two per package and there's five of those packages. So I don't know. I tend to use, or buy the Just Fruit bars. Um, 
which actually now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if it's much cheaper than this. So I don't know, maybe this will be my alternative for that if I can't get that or can't get my hands on that. All right, let's see what else is in this candy dandy bag. Okay, now I almost didn't get this, right? Because I'm trying to stay away from the sweets, but there is a company, it was like a, I don't even know if I should call it a restaurant, but it was a food spot and it all had all organic, raw, vegan food, but they unfortunately went out of business um, within the period of COVID. So they actually, I guess, went remote and started making it to sell to stores, which is probably a way better deal for them than actually having a physical location. But yeah, so they have this, it's called Lil Puddin, cute. And it's raw as well, and it's coconut cashew, vanilla cream, um, coconut and caramel so I'm not exactly sure what to expect from this but the ingredients again which I always look at are pretty damn amazing there's coconut water cashew maple syrup coconut meat coconut butter Irish moss which is sea moss cacao butter coconut oil cacao powder maca all things that I totally understand the ingredients of and I can see this tasting really yummy I didn't open it until just now has a unique texture situation. I don't know if you can see that. I think it came with a spoon inside of here. Yeah, it did. Cute. So the packaging actually comes with a spoon inside of it. So let's just give it a little whirl real quick. Oh, this is really good. Mm, mm hmm Am I supposed to just eat it like this? I think I am. So, glad I did that. Moving on. The next snack I got was the Kite Hill Greek style plant-based yogurt. Pretty sure this one, oh this one does have soy. It's a blend of mi almond milk and soy. This is the only vegan Greek yogurt that I like the texture of and can use it for multiple different things. Now I like to put this in my smoothies if I want an extra protein kick without putting protein powder in. Or I like to make tzatziki sauce, which, oh my god, this in tzatziki sauce chef's freaking kisses. So if you're looking for a plain Greek yogurt, give this a try. It's the closest texture wise, I would say, to regular Greek yogurt, if that makes sense. So yeah. All right, next we have JoJo's Dark Chocolate Bites. And this, I've actually had this brand at Costco, which it's a lot cheaper over there for a lot more but it's keto and vegan friendly gluten-free has four grams of protein in it i really love dark chocolate so having like an alternative for regular candy is really nice while this is dark chocolate it has very low sugar in it less than one gram in fact and it has a little flair with the raspberry almonds and pistachios to give it a little like crunch and like nutty flavor so Looking forward to giving this a try. I'm not gonna crack this open, but I probably will take this on the airplane with me. All right, next I have a bunch of different bars because I am gonna be on the go and I need something relatively fast while we're away. First off, Kind Bars, the dark chocolate um, nut and sea salt. Heaven, love these bars, obsessed with these bars. I wasn't eating these for a long time because I was trying to stay away from like high fat foods, but I'm just kind of intuitively eating right now. And we had gone to a trip to Montana and they had a bunch of these there and I was just like snacking on them constantly. So ever since then, I've been needing these. And these are always a really easy find at airports. So it's a good on the go bar. Okay, so these bars are called Zing plant-based bars. And from what I understand, this is relatively new because I've never seen it before. I would say probably before like two, three months ago, at least in my area. Soy-free, plant-based, vegan. It is higher in fat. It's got like th uh, 13 grams of fat, but it's really low in sodium, 70 grams. And it has 10 grams of protein as well. But it is a local-ish company. It's from Seattle, relatively close to Portland. And I liked this one because the protein source is 
made from like things that aren't gonna flare up my acne, like the peanut butter, and it had like an almond base, which is really nice for me. Again, not being able to have peanut butter. So I can read all of these ingredients, know exactly what it is, no issue there. If you're eating things that you don't even understand like, what you're putting into your body, I would highly suggest you rethink that. But yeah, these are called Zing, and I got the dark chocolate mint. Are you seeing a trend here? I'm obsessed with dark chocolate. This I've actually had. It has like a very interesting texture. It's soft, but not too soft, and it's not really grainy like a lot of other protein bars, so I really like these. Last bar is going to be the Bobo's bars, and I've actually never had this flavor specifically, but they're maple pecan, and they're jelly and apple filled ones ones are amazing so I expect no less from them these have like such a yummy texture and I feel like it's a great like morning pick-me-up in place of oatmeal this is made from oats again gluten-free all of that this is a great morning snack okay last but not least I don't even know if this truly counts as a snack, but I feel like it could be a snack or it could be part of an entree. So there is these plant-based little chicken pieces. And I really like these a lot. They have a regular flavor. They have this lemon, um, I think this is lemon herb. They have like a Cajun one. So they have like a, a couple different options. And the texture of these are so yummy and the way that they come apart, it gives you a chicken vibe without grossing you out. Cause I feel like, you know, meat replacements are meant to kind of mimic the, the texture. But when it's like extra, like especially before Beyond reformulated, the whole bleeding situation out of the meat was really weird to me. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Great texture, great flavor with these. It's made from soy, if I believe. Yeah, it's made from soy. I will say that these are higher in sodium, but they're kind of like a guilty pleasure for me and my husband. Okay, that's it. That is all of the vegan snacks I got from New Seasons this round. All of this costs about $109, but I will say that New Seasons is not the most cost-effective grocery shopping place, but sometimes they have things that other places don't, which I really appreciate. I do want to mention that I also eat fruits and vegetables for snacks, but because I am traveling soon, I didn't want to buy a bunch of items that were perishable. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Below, or feel free to DM me on Instagram at Shy Alexis. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Essentials with Alexis, and I hope to see you in the next one.